Hey guys, welcome back. And this is a high poly prop modeling tutorial. Today we are going to create this fire hydrant in Maya. So let's start with the block out. So take a cylinder and increase the radius to 1.5 and height to 6. Now let's take another cylinder and rotate it like this. Increase the height to 5 and uh, subdivision axis to 12. Then decrease the radius to 0 0.75. Pull this up like this. Now select this cylinder and select this insert edge loop tool. Go to right view and add one edge here. One up here and one in the middle. Like this. Now select this cylinder and this one. Go to mesh and booleans, select this union and combine these two. Now we need to connect these uh, vertices. So go to vertex mode, select this one and go to target weld, weld it here and this one here. Weld these two and these ones. Do the same on the back, connect it here and merge these two. Now let's work on this one. So select the faces and scale just a little bit. Push them in like this. Extrude it just a little bit to make this cavity here and extrude again then scale now press shift and scale it down to offset and then extrude like this now go to vertex mode and select this vertex then chamfer increase the width to 0 0.35 or maybe 0 0.4 go to right view and select these vertices scale them and bring them closer like this to make it a square and go to face mode now extrude this one now go to vertex mode select these two vertices and connect component now take the multi cut tool and let's connect these vertices Select this one and connect it here. Select this one and connect it here. Now select this one and 
connect this one here now go to face mode and select this face and include it like this select these two edges and scale them a little bit select this one and pull it down like this now select this edge ring and bevel and add one segment keep the fraction to 0 0.6 select all the vertices and merge Keep the threshold to 0 0.001. Now we need to connect these vertices here. So go to vertex mode, select this one and this one, then connect component. Do the same on this side and in the bottom. select this edge and right click then select this slide edge tool and push it back a little bit now select this one and bring it closer like this now let's work on this one so select these faces and push them in a little bit and scale Then extrude a little bit to create the cavity. Now extrude again and scale it down like this. Pull it out. And extrude one more time. Then scale. and extrude again like this and on this side we have to create something like this so press shift and scale it down to offset it and then extrude go to vertex mode select this vertex and chamfer increase the width to 0.4 Go to left view and again vertex mode select these vertices scale like this and bring them closer to make it a square. And select this face then extrude now select the vertex and connect component now take the multi cut tool connect these edges Go to face mode and select these faces and intrude like this. Go to vertex mode and select these vertices then connect component.
go to edge mode and select this edge ring and bevel with one segment decrease the fraction to 0 0.2 So let's take another cylinder, bring it out and rotate it like this. Go to front view and pull it up. Align this edge with this edge. And increase the radius. Let's take 1.1. Now go back to front view, select this cylinder and go to vertex mode, select these vertices, pull them up like this and these ones. Now select this cylinder and change the subdivision axis to 12. Now select both of them and go to mesh then Union. Go to vertex mode and select this vertex then target weld tool and weld it here. Weld all these vertices. Go to face mode and select these faces. Push them inside just a little bit and scale it down like this. Now press shift and extrude it just a little bit. Create the cavity and extrude it one more time like this. And once again, but this time just scale it down and pull it outside and extrude again scale now press shift and scale it down to offset and extrude now go to vertex mode select this vertex and chamfer keep it 0 0.5 go to front view and vertex mode select all these vertices then scale them down bring them closer to make it a square like this and go to face mode select this face and extrude Now go to vertex mode and select this vertex then connect component. Now take a multi cut tool and connect these vertices. Now go to front view and select all these vertices. And merge. Keep the threshold as low as you can. Just take it 0 0.03. Now go to edge mode and select this edge. And bevel. With one segment. Keep the fraction 0 0.25. Now go to face mode and select this face and intrude it.
go to front view and go to vertex mode select these vertices and pull them up like this and these ones a little bit down now go to face mode and select these faces go to front view and extrude just a little bit then scale them like this and extrude again extrude one more time like this and again till here now go to face mode and select these faces and extrude zero point one select the edges and bevel select this edge go to edge ring utilities and split and then scale it bring it out like this now we need to create a base and a top for this hydrant so take another cylinder Decrease the height to 0 0.3 or maybe 0 0.25. Increase the radius to 2.2. Uh, change the height to 0 0.3. Go to edge mode, select this edge and split. Now go to face mode. Select these faces, press shift and R, then add some offset like this and extrude. Offset again and extrude one more time like this. Go to front view and face mode select these faces in the bottom and delete now create a duplicate and rotate it like this select both of them and combine go to vertex mode and select these vertices and merge increase the threshold go to edge mode and select this edge then bevel Increase the fraction to 0 0.7 and select these faces, then extrude. Again, go to edge mode and select these edges, then bevel. Select this one, go to edge ring utilities and split and scale it like this. and put it on the top like this go to front view select this one and create a duplicate place it down here So that's it for today and in the next video we are going to add some more details to this hydrant and complete the modeling. I hope you liked this video and if you did then subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on the Instagram or join my discord server. Links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.